Alright guys, welcome back to another Sky Factory. I see there's an Enderman over here. One of the first things I wanted to do today was just to clear out some space in my monster spawner over there. So I'm going to take a little bit of time, I think, to open up some uh, shiny bags. So, I got rid of most of my stuff. I'll keep food around. I keep there. So I've got some space to open this stuff. There was an Enderman here, but he's vanished. All right, the one we've all been waiting for, the legendary bag. It has five rails and a crappy tree sapling. Not even a pack rat, it's just a boring normal one. So, super exciting loot. However, in all of that, I did manage to pull almost a full stack of Manikio, and that's a bonus. Hi. I've got a cow with some sort of a large, creepy-looking bell on his head. And I have a chicken who's laid an egg in the water. You trying to boil it, chicken? Soft boil? Is that why you put it in the water? No, maybe. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, there's another chicken over here too. Uh, ah, nothing. And I ha have a hobgoblin. <coughs> Hi, how's it going, buddy? Is it more fun over here in just this barren dirt than it is over there in my actual farm or my actual animal pen? So I guess I need to. Do some quick relocation. Save them. Ooh, almost enough for another one. Before they wander into my Manikio crops and accidentally harm themselves. Because uh, I can testify, Manikio hurts. Oh, that just a hair over one stat or one row left. So, let's get my glass so quick and rescue these friends who spawned over here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, hey! I got some new friends over there, too. I had one pig and a cow pretending to be a pig, but it looks like I got five pigs in my pen now. That's nice. Now I can breed pigs too. I should have. I'm still missing a horse. If I can get a horse, I can breed everything. I'll have enough. So let's rescue Mr. Hobgoblin. It's safer for you. I don't want uh, murderous chickens to push you into the Manikio crops and accidentally cause you your life. But, with these additions now, my pen's going to get a little crowded, I think. I need to find some better housing for them. I don't save murderous chickens. I don't trust them. Chickens are dangerous. They are the minions of Baby Zombie. And of course, it's raining again. Because why doesn't it? When? Sorry. When doesn't it rain in my world? Yeah, that one's not bad. Maybe I'll do that. Wait, is that what I did for. I think it is. That makes it even better, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. You didn't even follow my sentence. Look, if we stand here in this corner, it doesn't rain. Ha! Ha! <clears throat> Creeper! Hello, Mr. Creeper. Oh. Ah!
Because when don't I change my mind right away? Or in the middle? Or all the time? Okay. That was definite. I don't... There's nobody who... I... I... The, but... Yep, mm -hmm. see, not imagining it, not imagining it. But I have no idea where it's coming from. Because there's nowhere for it to come from. So the reason I like this one better than the other one is because it has what we call connected textures normally it looks like that but when you put them adjacent it extends that and it actually connects the two together to make it look like one continuous thing so now this looks like one big slab instead of a bunch of little stuff so that's why i decided i like this one better and it's going to get very dark up here very quickly and then i'm going to get attacked by monsters and then i'm possibly going to die so, stay tuned! No, Dal, you cannot fill the hole with watermelon. Try using stone. Oh, I'm out of the rain. I have some roof. Not like as in, that's some roof, but as in, that's a little bit of roof. All right, and I have finished a ceiling here. It'll be the floor of my next level. And I'll actually remove this now too. Dunk, dunk, dunk. All right, I have an enclosed, safe place Oh, a safe place. Oh, oh, yay. Well, that is about the grandest staircase I have ever made. So, <clears throat> as you approach, this is what it looks like. Now, the cool thing I did with this one is not only do you have these stairs going up, and it's, it's uh, quite the staircase itself, but tucked back in here I have torches so at night or in the dark it actually lights up the stairs on its own but you don't actually see the torches you just see every other step glowing I'll show you guys that once it's a little darker out maybe I'll take out some torches to show you show you well enough but uh, hopefully it'll have the effect I'm looking for hopefully it'll look really neat that's that's what I want it to be is neat I've made a staircase like this before, but never to this magnitude, and come to think of it, never inside. So I'm not sure how it's going to look. But that is what I wanted. Um, it's grand. It's definitely, definitely grand. Yep. I could use to go and visit my sheep. Oh, look. Two more sheep. This one has a fish and a loaf of bread on his head. So I give you guys a little bit of a rundown here. Let's just remove some torches quick, set up a little bit of mood lighting. And hope I don't die. So it's rather dark in the front part here, but the stairs are just positively glowing. It's just, um, put this down so I'm not getting light from above temporarily. All right, so that is what my stairs look like without light. 
completely lit from within. Now let's put these torches back before I die. I've been focusing so much on making sure that um, I was running stone all the time, well, that I ended up overflowing my chest, my sieve, the whole works. I just had too much stuff. I came over here and there just stuff popping out everywhere and lying all over the floor. and It was a mess. A mess. Okay, so I spent some good time there, quite a bit of time condensing all of my metals down so that they look like this now. Now they're ready to be smelted. It was uh, it was quite the project, but it meant, means, meant, 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 the means, meant, 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 that I have a lot more room in here because I took two or three quarters of everything out in order to condense it down like this. And I've still got my limestone going so that uh, I can hopefully build a giant, giant, giant castle out of limestone, which um, I gotta say, on my list of regrets, um, I regret, I do, <laughs> deciding to build this entire monstrosity out of limestone is, is definitely, definitely a regret. I added um, also onto these to make it look a little little neater, I think, a little more regal. I added these carpet patches and a nice red covering. I think it really, really makes those pop and just gives it uh, a dimension that it didn't have before. Makes it makes it look pretty cool, I think. Means I can't put anything on top of them because the carpets take an entire block, so it would look goofy if I try to put anything up there. But as is, I just think it makes it a neat little um, feature on top of that. So what do I do with the rest of this room? The stairway dominates a lot of this room, but there's still all this excess space around the outside. I mean, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Eight by eight by, well, uh, a little bit more than that. There's more room behind the stairs than there are in front of the stairs. So that's a, a good chunk that I could do something with. So why don't you guys uh, write down some ideas for me of things you think I could do with the rest of this room other than the stairway going up. And maybe I'll, uh, I'll go through your ideas definitely and I'll, I'll see if anything jumps out at me. Anything that I think would, would really accent that particular area make it look pretty make it look really pretty yeah yeah you guys will have to let me know what you think would look nice in this room but look at that view right there look at that so you got the bridge coming up oh nice and as you're coming up the bridge and you can see the red pop there Makes it look good. Then you got this shot up the stairs, up the other stairs to the sky beyond. I'll have to put something up there against that far wall so that there's something for that wall to look at, I think. So let's see now. I can start working on another boring level. While this is going, maybe I am going to make another pad work. Aqui, yes. Okay, so two copper gears, two glass. It's a nice moon rise through the monster spawner there. Like how at this angle it lines up the back of the moon perfectly with the falling bodies. No, with the ladder but there's random skeletons falling in front of the moon and that just makes it even more pretty and then over here five basic machine frames give me five aqueous accumulators just like that I can turn on five more pads once I get tanks and sprinklers 
Okay, so then I got four more obsidian here out of my barrels. Fill in. That makes actually one more tank than I need. Let's go drop these tanks and get them starting to fill up. Oh, what would I do without any eye? Alright, I need five redstone torches, bunch of redstone, bunch of iron. Do I have any more? Oh, I do. And sticks. There's sticks. Three, four, five. Oops, not that, that. Five redstone torches. Five iron bars each. Just enough. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I got all of that tilled up and ready to go now. And now I'm going to officially move my nature seed. And it can have a pad all to itself. So, I know, it moved really far, didn't it? You get the pad all to itself, which is two blocks, just the other side of the pathway in between. <laughs> but it's still its own. It's its own seed there. It can be its, its own self and not have to worry about all this encroaching manikio on it. And now I'll start filling in the rest of these. My uh, crops are going to start taking off, I hope. I hope. Cross your fingers. Pray. Pray to Creeper Tree that he doesn't destroy my beautiful, beautiful crops and fields. So with that, guys, I think I'm going to call it quits. We did some decent, decent uh, progress here. That short burst at the end there to finish up a couple more pads in the uh, Magic Crops farm. Get five more pads ready to be run. So all I have to do is get seeds in them. I had a bunch more animals that kept spawning over my magic crops, so then I've got those eggs. I got some more chickens, I got a bunch of pigs, I got uh, a few more sheep, uh, a couple more cows, another hobgoblin. It was a it was a pretty good animal episode there. Why are you still little? Adulthood in 1183 seconds. Wow, childhood goes so fast. So, uh, I never noticed that it said that before. Tells you how long until they grow into adults. That's strange. Um, but, hey, apparently. wonder if that's... Maybe I had one spawn that I didn't... Or I had one from a chicken egg that I didn't notice, but... I don't know. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I made some good progress on the castle. I made those very nice, shiny stairs and, uh closed out the rest of that level so it's all nice and sand why is there sand in here so it's all nice and uh cleaned up yeah that's it's looking nice it's got a, a good start to it i think right now it's just kind of a block i'm gonna have to find uh, uh something to do with it to give it a little more dimension maybe you know the next layer be a little bit bigger or something cut in something to to make it so it's not just some big huge vertical cube I've got my nice steps, and my crops, my Oculus accumulators, got some good progress this episode, guys. So, if I, on the jump here, you can see most of my progress. <laughs> Look over the wall on the second floor, you can see some of my animals, and you can see my magic crops expanded out over there. So guys, thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.